with more. Ben and Loris, good afternoon. A coalition of groups led by the Little Village Environmental Justice Organization is pushing for the release of the full Inspector General's report and more city employees to face discipline. I am here in solidarity with the families affected by this failed impulsion, which put to a, a vulnerable community at risk. That is Dulce Graduño with Mi Vallita Neighbors on the latest chapter on the failed smokestack implosion by Hilco Redevelopment Partners at the shuttered Crawford Power Plant back in April of 2020, just when the pandemic was beginning. The botched implosion of the 400-foot smokestack sent a massive cloud of dust over the neighborhood, generating complaints of toxic particles permeating the area amid charges of environmental racism. An inspector general's report found that warnings were issued at least 213 days before saying an implosion like this is almost cataclysmic and toppling a smokestack would be a disaster. The report claimed that officials approached their regulatory roles in a not my job fashion and concluded that the situation led to a breakdown of city regulatory oversight, but that environmental debacle resulted in only a slap on the wrist for the city officials across several departments, including health and building departments. Today, a coalition of community groups are calling on Mayor Light Lightfoot to do more. Mayor Lori Lightfoot, release the full report. Release the names of those involved in this botched demolition. The city issued 16 citations that should have resulted in $68,000 worth of fines, but was settled for $19,000 without any admission of any kind of liability. Jack Darren is the director of Sierra Club Illinois. So we support and stand in solidarity with the asks being made today, uh, but we also need to think about communities where similar scenarios could soon come to pass. So Mayor Lightfoot just addressing this issue from D.C. where she is attending the U.S. Conference of Mayors, and she said since the implosion, new safeguards have been put in place to make sure something like this doesn't ever happen again. The, the people that were involved um, followed the rules as they were written, but unfortunately the rules that were written and had been in place uh, for 10 plus years um, were inadequate uh, for the circumstances of today, which is why we changed them uh, back in 2020. I hope obviously that we never have another incident like this. Clearly it was very traumatizing to all concerned. So we'll have the latest on this coming up at 6 p.m., including is she in favor of releasing that full report with the names included? Mm -hmm. More at 6. And hopefully those changes will be enough. Okay. Indeed. Thank you, Patrick. Uh, we're also learning new details today.